more intriguing projects uh, coming from Marvel is the Thunderbolts. Now, now this was one that when they first announced that they were going to do Thunderbolts, I couldn't have cared less. <laughs> I mean, not three squirts of urine would I have been willing to exchange to see Thunderbolts. But then they announced the lineup. And when they announced the lineup, I, I was like, okay, wait a minute. You're going to have Florence Pugh in there. Strong lead. Strong lead. You're going to have Winter Soldier. Okay, great. You're going to have Walmart Captain America, who I think a lot of us warmed up to by the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You're going to have Elaine. You're going to have uh, Valentina, uh, forget her full name, the Countess Valentina something, something, something. Julia Louise Dreyfus. But you're going to have, uh, what's his name, Red Guardian? Yeah. Red Guardian, David Harbour's Red Guardian, who is absolutely the best thing about the Black Widow movie. And once they showed the lineup, I was like, okay, all right, I'm on board. Like what you like this has a very much of a Guardians of the Galaxy eclectic mixture of character type of feel. And I'm like, I I'm just 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 the fact that David Harbour's in it makes me go crazy. Now it's gone through some development drama because like once Bob Iger came back and gave Kevin Feige's power back, Kevin Feige started to change a lot of things. But there was a very exciting development with Thunderbolts that if you weren't already excited, this might get it to you. Hall Reporter did a story about some of the big things Marvel's been updating, but this is hidden down in a paragraph on another story that wrote this. Marvel also hired Joanna Callow, the showrunner and producer of the award-winning and acclaimed FX series The Bear that just won all the Emmys in the comedy category, despite the fact that it's not a comedy, but it's a wicked show. <laughs> the showrunner and producer of acclaimed FX series, The Bear, to work on the script for Thunderbolts. Now, what I a little more digging, This was there were whispers of this back in November that this happened. And there were even a couple of reports that flowed around, but a lot of people didn't pay any attention to it because there was it wasn't verified. Apparently, verified to work on the script for Thunderbolts. The Hollywood Reporter has learned. The film will begin shooting in March in Atlanta. Uh, her hiring adds a flair of prestige to the project, which stars Florence Pugh, and according to a source who has read previous drafts of the script, centers on villains and antiheroes going on a mission that was supposed to end with their deaths. So it's Suicide Squad for Marvel. So basically kind of a Marvel Suicide Squad. But I'm guessing, I know Kevin Feige looked at it and said, listen, we got some characters in here that have some promise. So I'm <laughs> guessing a bunch of them will probably die in it. Okay, so Rob, let's look at this for a second. You had a project that you got me interested because of this weird group of characters you're putting in yep. there. And now to find out the showrunner and producer of one of the absolute best shows on television right now that just won all the awards. She's also now I'm I'm not a Bojack Horseman guy, but I know a lot of people who watch the show were big on Bojack Horseman. She was an executive producer on Bojack Horseman. She's I mean, she's as good as it gets right now that they're getting her to come, and I guess they brought her in in October or November, so she would have been hammering on this thing for like four or five months now, and she's either you know reworking parts of the script, redid the script, retooled it, polished it, whatever, but whatever involvement she's got in this, you're bringing the person from the bear over to do that? You know, it's the opposite conversations than we're having about Sony. Right now, it's like, oh my God, you're bringing in this world-class talent. It's the opposite conversation. Rob, I got to tell you, this has got me very, very excited. And, and maybe for some of you guys who haven't watched The Bear, number one, watch The Bear. You will not regret it. I promise you this, you won't regret it. But maybe people who haven't watched The Bear will like, okay, this is just another name of another writer. I get that. But once you watch The Bear, you'll feel different. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know, guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie-smart, vegan, veggie, and more. 
more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash campia50 and use the code campia50 to get 50% off. That's code campia50 at factormeals.com slash campia50 to get 50% off. Anyway, Rob, you heard about this story. What's your takeaway from it? Well, first of all, it's the tone that excites me. If you've watched The Bear, the tone, there's a lot of dark humor on that show. Mm -hmm. And and the tone of The Bear and the storylines of The Bear, I understand people like, well, how does that translate to a superhero film? But it's the the overall tone and the, the, the outlook into humanity that The Bear brings you, I think is going to work really well. That sensibility with this overall project. That's what really excites me. So I think it's a really great hire. I think that you're going to get, again, an auteur, authorship. You know, that's what I want. I want to see this movie has to be different than other Marvel movies. And in a way, I'd like to be, you know, optimistic. And I think Marvel Marvel, Marvel took a licking and it's going to keep on ticking. And so I'm hoping that with Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, Brave New World, whatever they've retooled Brave New World into, and Thunderbolts, we'll see Marvel back on track. I think those are three very diverse kinds of projects, different kinds of stories being told, that hopefully will give us a feel of that sort of mid-Infinity Saga, Winter Soldier era Marvel, the best kind of Marvel, where you can go from the first Guardians of the Galaxy to a Captain America movie, and they're all bangers. You know, I'm hoping that, I, I have to say, this has, I really, I know Brave New World's a mess, but I still think that with Deadpool and Wolverine, Brave New World, and Thunderbolts, I'm, I, my, my expectations are high again. It's the first time in a while, I've got to say, I mean, not in like five years, but in a while, that I felt some legitimate optimism about where the MCU is going. 100%. Because it's, it's felt for a little while now like they're a little bit lost in the the other thing that she brings in this to me that makes me want uh, John bear, Mike, even though it's not, oh, even though the bear is not, sorry, I was coughing, I turned off my mic. Um, even though it's not a comedy, I say the bear isn't a comedy, it shouldn't be in the comedy character category, it can be viciously yeah, sure, funny, yeah. But yeah, darkly funny. But the best thing about it that makes me excited about her coming over to the MCU is that when you look at all the characters, mm -hmm. all the characters on the bear, the cousins and our leads and the extended family, they are all richly fleshed out. Yeah. How are all have such distinct personalities. I didn't realize that she was added in January to Thunderbolts and she's from the bear. I didn't know they added her to Thunderbolts. Yeah. In January. Didn't she just win the Emmy too? Yeah, I, th I think she just won the Emmy as well. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if she can bring that to this group of Thunderbolts where all of them are going to have this, like, a really rich treatment, very exciting stuff. And, and like I said, I, it's been a while since I felt optimistic. Yeah. I mean, other than Deadpool 3. I've always been excited about Deadpool 3, but it's been a while since I felt that kind of optimism for the MCU as a whole. Mm. And with them going back to completely retool Captain America 4, with now all the stuff we're seeing coming from Thunderbolts, like you said, Rob, the roadmap is starting to look very positive. Deadpool 3, Captain America 4, Thunderbolts. And if, if, big if, but they've completely finished shooting Agatha now, and I'm 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 very excited about that show. Yeah, Not they about, talked about they only had to do one day of reshoots. Yeah, they yeah there was they 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 nailed it so much they only did one day of reshoots. I mean, listen, there's a number of things coming to Disney Plus from Marvel that I'm not so stoked about. Right, but Agatha's the one that I am. So. For the first time, the future looks a little bit bright. I'm also hoping one thing. I'm expecting that Brave New World and Thunderbolts are closely tied in with one another. You know how one f film would build on another? Since they've retooled Bra Brave New World and they know what they're doing with Thunderbolts, that we'll see more closely, uh, like like the original, the, like the Infinity Saga, we'll see one film build on the next. Yes. Really hoping for it. But most importantly, just make good movies. Yeah. Just make good movies. Yes. 100%. And, you, and you'd be surprised how excited you will make 
all of the fans. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.